GB17N 063374. The story behind this pigeon, this, I bought a pigeon in, um, from Gary's Who Dares Win. The pigeon finished 10th in the race. And the ring number is 999. And I bought it for my son-in-law, because he was into pigeons. I was trying to coach him into the game, but it didn't work, but whatever. So he, he, he now, I gave him the pigeon. So he come into my stock loft, yeah? And then it was paired to a, a dark end, which is, was a direct daughter of my secret weapon number one pigeon, my red cock, my old red cock, yeah? They bred this, this pigeon, and, and, and another one, same, the same, exactly the same. And when I'm very fussy when I send my pigeons to one lap races, they've got to be absolutely bang on. So there was 20 pigeons in the shed, and 15 of them were going to South Africa. And out of the 20 pigeons, 19 were capable of going. And when I picked her up, I thought, no, she's just too small. She's just too small, so I kept her back, yeah? I, I don't think she no, is No, no, <laughs> even the best pigeon drivers make mistakes. I know after, I knew after. So she, be, she became here to stay. I thought, I'm gonna keep her because the waste is bread. So the year after, same scenario, we've got 20 pigeons to go to South Africa. There was 19 that were capable of it. And I picked this check in up, not this one, his sister. And I thought, no, I didn't know what they were off. I never checked them what they were off. So when the pigeons got basketed up, I went in the shed and picked the pigeon up and I looked at it and thought, well, bloody hell, last year, I picked that same one out from the same nest, from the same parents. And I thought, okay, I'll try them here. Both one from France. Mm. So I was wrong, lads. We all can be wrong. Yeah. She's a very small pigeon, but what a pigeon, super uh, pigeon. Again, I don't think she is small. Well, I think she's, say a, got, I think you know, she's an ideal type when, when they were pigeon. babies, you might have thought different. Mm. When they were that bad, they said, I just like them just a touch fraction bigger. Mm. But they, it might be in the pigeons, it might be in you know, the breeds further down in the generations. See, we're, we're up in Chester, so to me, racing across the channel is what we're looking for. Yeah. And that to me, I'd be happy little to say pigeons. that all day yeah, long. They all have little pigeons. When you come in these big races, they're all little pigeons. But I just thought at the time, and I was wrong then. I hold my hands up, I was wrong. The year after, I put the same pigeons up. I put that one on one side and they proved me wrong. I put them in the Widowwood shed. I, made, I got them ready for, for, the, for, for the channel racing. Mm. I actually paired them up then, Les, and got them down on Young. That's the only time when they were on the channel. Mm. Land racing, no. But yeah, she, did, I mean, she won by... Uh, 12 minutes and her sister won by seven minutes. Oh, she is nice. Yeah, I'd be sad to see this go. Her sister is now paired to its father, the 999 cop. Did you say she's won? She won and they won both. Right. Both of them. 74 and I think the one was 26 when we get to it. It's in the stock off anyway. Start. That's 74, yeah. yeah. Beautiful pigeon. Well, same again, Liz, we're not getting them channel races to, to give the pigeons justice. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's a super pigeon.